Next to the Ornithochirus, the birds look no bigger than insects. However, their tiny feathered wings are more resistant to damage than the skin membrane of the pterosaur, especially among the branches and twigs of dense forests. In the far future, the pterosaurs will surrender the skies to the birds. Driven on, he eventually reaches the huge island of Cantabria, which will one day be the bedrock of Spain. He is exhausted by his 14,000 kilometer journey. Ahead lies the mating ground. Every year of his adult life, he has returned to this same spot to mate. Already the beach is full of male Ornithochirus noisily competing for space. As the old male approaches, he knows from experience that the nearer the center of this intimidating throng, the more attractive he will be to the females. He heads straight for the dominant position he has occupied in previous years, right in the middle. But this time, he faces a challenge to his supremacy. Again and again he tries to land, but the males on the ground fend him off. Eventually his weariness tells and he has to land elsewhere. Position among the males has been usurped by younger animals. They advertise their vigor and size to warn off rival males and to attract females out of the air. For the outcast, the world has been turned upside down. Now banished to the outskirts of the mating area, he will be lucky to attract a female at all. In the blistering heat of midday, his instincts force him to keep trying. The females are unmoved. 